when you're playing white in this position. There is one move for white that can help us win a piece here. Can you see it? So the first thing you might want to check is the danger levels in the position. So our king is attacking their rook, but their knight is protecting it. So naturally, a move that could work for us is rook e4 attacking their knight. This seems to be good because even if they protect with the pawn, we can sacrifice our rook, and when they take, we win the rook back and we're up a piece and win the game. So does that mean rook e4 is the answer? No. Remember, the danger level concept applies to us too. Here, black can save the game by playing rook b2, attacking our undefended bishop. So rook e4 does not work. So how do we solve this puzzle? Let me introduce you to the concept of reciprocal thinking. So reciprocal thinking is like seeing each move as these dots and asking yourself if the dots connect somehow to the main idea. So one of the interesting moves, independent ones it seems, is rook e8 check. This move forces the king to come to f7. So don't just reject the move, ask yourself if it connects to the main idea. It does. Can you see it? The move for white is rook e4 now. Why does this work after adding in a check? Well, the difference is now the king is in the same line as the knight. So if they try to counterattack our bishop, we take the knight with check. This allows us to stay our bishop and now white is winning. This is the power of reciprocal thinking.